do during the games. All right, hot temperatures like the ones we often experience during summer can mean more use of your deodorant, right? That's right, yeah, you want to make sure it uh, has to go overtime. It can't go overtime <laughs> when you need it to. But what if you feel Don't like you need me. more to prevent sweating too much? KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez, she joins us with ways to deal with Thank those. Thank goodness you're here. Sweaty, sweaty armpits. <laughs> have the answers to everything, right? Yes. So this is a question that dermatologists tell me that they, they get, especially this time of year, right? People want to know, how do I make my deodorant work better? which is the best deodorant? How do I stop sweating? Especially since many people consider themselves as someone who sweats more than normal. It's another hot, sweaty Houston summer, and you might be desperate for a deodorant that works. Dr. Sunaina Lukari from Kelsey Siebold and Umble says all patients have different preferences, but what's really going to make it work is aluminum. You want to pick something that says antiperspirant, because um, that's actually what's going to contain the aluminum salts that you need to kind of clog up your sweat glands. There have been questions about what long-term use of aluminum can do, and with that fear, there's been a surge in natural products that don't contain any. But will those work? They might have other uh, other ingredients that try to um, dry you out, so things like baking soda um, and tapioca powder and stuff like that. Um, probably not quite as effective as aluminum, but um, certainly lots of options out there. She says people with severe sweating who need more than just deodorant can try an over-the-counter product called Drysol. And there are also prescription treatments available, including medicated wipes, prescription drugs, minor procedures, including Botox, or this one called MiraDry. Permanently damage or destroy your sweat glands. And so um, it is an effective procedure, but it is not covered by insurance. It's quite expensive. Right. And last but not least, if someone has a real problem where their hands, feet, underarms are dripping with sweat, it could be a condition called hyperhidrosis. And then you could be a candidate for a surgery to permanently stop the sweating. The doctor says that actually happens in about 5% of people. One of the oh. questions that I think a lot of folks have is, is it true if you use a specific type of deodorant long enough that at some point it just stops working? Don't you? Yes. And don't you feel like that kind of happens with a lot of products? I know people say that about shampoos, deodorants, yeah. and I asked the doctor about that and she said there's um, really no scientific reason why this should happen, but she doesn't deny that it does. Her patients come to her with that question all the time. So her only recommendation is that if it helps you out, go ahead and rotate products because like that is what people say happens yeah. they this one doesn't work anymore so they try a new one and it works yeah so if you think it works better maybe i guess it does work better for <laughs> yeah. you yeah whatever it takes yeah. exactly these temperatures Please. all right <laughs> Haley, we appreciate the update Thanks, there guys. thank you